richest country in the world. Welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're diving into Luxembourg, a small yet incredibly prosperous nation in the heart of Europe. With a multilingual population fluent in Luxembourgish, French and German, this country is a vibrant mix of cultures. Stay tuned to explore its rich heritage, commitment to diversity and exceptional quality of life. Luxembourg is a small landlocked country in Western Europe. It borders Belgium, Germany and France. With an area of just 998 square miles, it is one of the smallest countries in Europe. Despite its small size, Luxembourg has a varied geography, including hills, forests, rivers and valleys. Luxembourg is located in northwestern Europe, between France, Belgium and Germany. It covers an area of 999 square miles, making it one of the smallest countries on the continent. The country shares borders with Belgium to the west and north, Germany to the east and France to the south. Luxembourg is marked by rolling hills, plateaus and river valleys. The northern part of the country is made up of fields and grasslands dotted with forests. The central and southern regions feature more rugged terrain with deep gorges and valleys. The highest point is Kneif at 1,409 feet above sea level. Almost one third of Luxembourg is covered by forest. The main wooded areas are the Ardennes region, Ursling and Mulethal. The most common trees are oak, beech, hornbeam, birch and pine. Luxembourg's forests provide important habitat for wildlife and are popular spots for outdoor recreation activities like hiking and camping. Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in Europe, but it has a diverse and multicultural population. Luxembourg has a population of about 650,000 people as of 2022, according to the World Bank. Ethnically, the population is mixed. About 70% identify as ethnically Luxembourgish. These are descendants of the Frankish and Celtic people that originally inhabited the area. Another large group are the Portuguese at around 16% of the population. There are also ethnic Italians, French, Belgians, Germans and others. The majority of Luxembourgers are Roman Catholic making up about 70 to 75 percent of the population. Religion has played an important role in Luxembourg's culture and history. About 10 to 15 percent identify as non-religious. Smaller religious groups include Protestants, Orthodox Christians, Jews, Muslims and others. Luxembourg has three official languages, Luxembourgish, French and German. Luxembourgish is the national language and mother tongue of Luxembourgers. French and German are also widely used in education, government and business. About 60% of the population speaks Luxembourgish as their native language. Many Luxembourgers also speak English and Portuguese as well. Luxembourg cuisine is influenced by the country's location between France and Germany. It features locally sourced ingredients like potatoes, beans, dairy, meat and fish. Luxembourgish cooking often consists of hearty peasant-style dishes. Bunnischlop, a beloved comfort food, this hearty soup combines smoked sausage, potatoes, onions, beans and herbs. Slow cooked in broth. It's a staple during the winter months. Grompere Kieselcher. These fried potato pancakes are crunchy on the outside and soft inside. Made from grated potatoes, flour and eggs, they are often served with applesauce or other savory toppings. Boucher à la Reine is a luxurious dish of chicken and mushrooms in a velvety sauce encased in puff pastry. It was named after the French queen, Marie Leschinska, in the 18th century. Letzeburger Knidlen are flour-based dumplings stuffed with meat, soaked in broth 
and served sauced or roasted. They can contain pork, bacon, beef or liver. A beloved meal across Luxembourg. Luxembourg has a long and fascinating history spanning over 1,000 years. Strategically positioned between European powers, Luxembourg has been conquered and ruled by many different nations throughout its history. This video will explore the major historical events and periods that have shaped this small but mighty country. The history of Luxembourg begins with the construction of Lukilin Burhuk Castle in 963 AD, which gave the country its name. Located on the site of a former Roman fort, it was built by Siegfried I, Count of Ardennes, to protect against invasion. Over the next centuries, Luxembourg fell under the control of various European powers, including the Burgundians, Habsburgs, French and Spanish. Luxembourg gained independence in 1839 after being elevated to a Grand Duchy. It separated from the Netherlands and became an independent state under the rule of King William I. This began a period of prosperity, economic growth and stability. Luxembourg also became one of the first countries to begin exploiting its iron ore resources in the 19th century. During World War I, Luxembourg was occupied by Germany, but did not suffer much damage. However, in World War II, the country was invaded and annexed by Germany from 1940 to 1944. Luxembourg was liberated by Allied forces and returned to independence in 1945. After the war, Luxembourg abandoned its neutrality, joined NATO and developed into a major financial and political center of Europe. Today, Luxembourg has one of the highest GDP per capita in the world. It is a founding member of important European organizations like the EU, UN and NATO. Luxembourg has gradually evolved from a mainly agricultural society to an advanced post-industrial economy based around banking, financial services and high technology. With one of the highest GDP per capita in the world, Luxembourg has a thriving modern economy. The country's GDP is roughly $81 billion as of 2022, according to the World Bank. How did this small landlocked country become so prosperous? Luxembourg's financial sector is the biggest contributor to its economy, accounting for over 35% of its GDP. It is the premier private banking center in the Eurozone and a leading destination for investment funds and insurance companies drawn by favorable policies and political stability. Steel production used to be Luxembourg's main industry and economic driver. Starting in the late 19th century, iron ore deposits supported a booming steel industry. While not as dominant today, Steel is still a major sector employing thousands of skilled workers. Pro-business policies have fueled Luxembourg's growth. It has attracted corporations with low tax rates and banking secrecy laws. As a founding member of the EU, Luxembourg enjoys access to European markets and trade. Its economy is closely tied to Germany and neighboring countries. While industry drove early growth, the economy today is dominated by advanced technology, media, telecommunications and professional services. Companies like Amazon, PayPal and Skype have bases in Luxembourg drawn by its connectivity and high-skill workforce. Luxembourg has a rich cultural heritage that has been shaped by the country's history and diverse population. Painting flourished in Luxembourg in the 19th and 20th centuries. Major artists included Joseph Kutter, Dominique Lang, Michel Majerus, and Sue Maitse. Contemporary artists experiment with new styles and multimedia. Luxembourg's architecture reflects influences from France, Germany, and other European powers who controlled it. 
neo-Romanesque fortresses and churches exist alongside modernist steel and glass buildings in the capital. Luxembourg is also known for its medieval castles and palaces, like Vianden Castle. Photography became popular in Luxembourg in the late 19th century. Pioneering photographers like Tony Crier documented the people, urban landscapes, and rapid industrialization. Today, the art of photography is kept alive by collectives like Photo Friend and the Biff Photo Award exhibition. Luxembourg literature came of age in the Romantic era with national poet Mikkel Rodange's epic poem, Renert. Contemporary Luxembourg writers are active today, such as Anis Koltz, Jean Portant, Lombert Schlechter, and Nico Helminger. Literature communicates Luxembourg's unique national identity. If you enjoyed this video about Luxembourg, you'll love this next one.